What's up, Wolverines? I'm Tyler James. And I'm Daniel Diaz, and here's your news for today. Last night, the high school students attended the award ceremony celebrating their achievements from last school year. The students who attended this ceremony are those who had the highest grades in the particular class and maintained straight A's. Congratulations to those who received the award. Well, it's very important to recognize the academic success because our students uh, are students first, uh, they're athletes second, uh, or they may do activities uh, after school and so forth. But the primary reason uh, besides faith formation here at school is their academic su success. And it's important to be able to recognize them uh, at night in front of their parents, in front of their peers uh, with these special awards. Okay. The academic awards uh, presentation last night I thought went very well. Uh, we were able to recognize our students uh, in the area of academic achievement and in subject medals and also in the book awards. Uh, it was a short ceremony, but it was very uh, nice. And I think the parents enjoyed it. And I think the students also enjoyed the fact that they were able to get that recognition on stage. Battle Like a Wolverine is a family-friendly event that will take place on Saturday, October 22nd and will conclude our breast cancer campaign. Registration for the Battle Like a Wolverine is available at www.belenjesuit.org slash battle like a Wolverine. The last day to register and be guaranteed a free t-shirt is tomorrow, Friday, September 16th. Online registration ends on a Wednesday, October 19th. Well, battle Like Wolverine is a family-friendly event. We uh, walk around the entire campus, uh, walk or run. It's uh, not a true 5K, it's right under the mark. But it's uh, more important than anything, it's an opportunity to raise funds and awareness for breast cancer research. Um, since we started in 2011, we've raised over $100,000. So we'd like to continue that uh, momentum forward. Two planes with undocumented immigrants landed in Martha's Vineyard Wednesday, September 14th. This coming from a statement by Taryn Fensk, Governor DeSantis Communication Director. The sudden move follows similar strategy by governors of Texas and Arizona to undocumented migrants to liberal states to protest the increase in illegal immigration under the Biden administration. Fiona has formed in the Atlantic and is now targeting parts of the Caribbean. Fiona is the sixth named storm of the 2022 Atlantic hurricane season, according to the National Hurricane Center. The storm was about 625 miles east of the Leeward Islands as it strengthened from a tropical depression Wednesday. Winds from Fiona are hitting from about 50 miles per hour with even higher gusts. Tropical storm watches are now for a number of places, including St. Martin, Montserrat, Antigua, Barbuda, Nevis, and Anguilla. What's up, Wolverines? I'm Victor Torres, and here's your sports for today. Your varsity football team plays Miami Southridge in a crucial district game this Friday. Make sure to show your support for the Wolverines. I got a chance to, to speak with Lucas Amaya about the game. This is our most important game of the season, because if we win, then we can advance. But if we lose, then our season's over. And I think we have a really good shot of winning this if we just stay disciplined and follow our game plan. Good luck to your cross-country team who traveled to Palm Beach County for a meet this week, and to the JV football team who traveled to Tavernier to play the Coral Shores. The middle school football team defeated Matter Academy 42-22 to in their home opener. The team was led by a heavy rushing attack from Danny Garcia and Jake Cueto. The sixth grade basketball team defeated Epiphany 42-14 to in their first game of the season. The leading scorers were Brian Caballero and Ethan Baldor. Now for some pro sports. The Los Angeles Chargers traveled to Arrowhead to play the Kansas City Chiefs in an electric Thursday night game. Make sure to tune in and to check your fantasy lineups. That's all the sports for today. Now back to the guys at the desk. Thank you, Vic. And that's all your news for today. Make sure to follow all of our social medias and stay golden, Wolverines.